Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have our next example of how to properly do deductive reasoning. And we're asked to figure out who's telling the truth. So we have three individuals, Frank, Tony, and Jimmy. And rule number one says that Frank says that Tony lied. Rule number two says that Tony says that Jimmy lied. And rule number three says that Jimmy says that both Frank and Tony lied. Now, under the assumption that if Frank is telling the truth, what can we conclude about Jimmy? So how do we lay that out? Well, let's visually get a feel for what the rules are. So first of all, we have Frank. We have Tony. And we have Jimmy. And what do each of them say? Well, Frank says that Tony lied. Secondly, Tony says that Jimmy lied. And finally, Jimmy says that both Frank and Tony lied. Now at this point, we still don't know which of these statements are true. But now we're given, let's say, call it rule number four, if Frank is telling the truth. So what we're going to then say is, Frank claims that Tony lied, and that must therefore be true. Do we know if Jimmy lied? Well, we don't know directly, because Tony claims that Jimmy lied, but how do we know for sure? Well, Jimmy claims that Frank and Tony lied, so if Jimmy claimed that Frank lied, but we know, because rule number four, that Frank is telling the truth, that therefore this must be false. And if the statement that Jimmy made, that both Frank and Tony lied, and now we know that that's a false statement, we can then conclude that Jimmy must be lying because we know that Frank is telling the truth. So therefore, we can say that Jimmy is lying. So now what can we say about Tony, even though we're not specifically asking what Tony is, is Tony telling the truth or is Tony lying as well? Well, Tony claims that Jimmy is lying and now we've established that Jimmy is lying because he claims that Frank is, tell, is lying when we know that he's telling the truth. So therefore, it would appear that Tony is also telling the truth. And they're not asking us if that's the case, but at least we can conclude that one as well. And so both Frank and Tony are telling the truth, and Jimmy appears to be lying on the basis that we now know that Frank is telling the truth. And that's how it's done.